Let's continue on our discussion of accounting with a discussion of the accrual basis versus the cash basis of accounting. So we're going to see here that the difference between these two is all about timing. And we're going to see that accrual basis accounting is used by any publicly traded company. And there are many others that are required to use accrual basis. So we'll see why throughout this section. First of all, let's talk about the details of each type. Under the cash basis of accounting, revenues are recorded whenever we receive the cash. Regardless of when we provided the services, it's all about when did the cash come to us as a company. Expenses are recorded when the cash is paid. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to track. In fact, most individuals, if they're trying to do personal financial accounting, they use the cash basis of accounting. They, they want to know when did the cash come in or when did the cash go out. Let's take a look at an example of a revenue under the cash basis of accounting. Here we have a two-year magazine subscription that we sold to subscribers in January of 2015 for $24,000 total. Now that's 24 months, so it's $1,000 per month. And of course, you know that's, a, that's several subscribers. So under the cash basis of accounting, all 24,000 of this will be recorded as revenue in 2015 because that's when we collected the cash, even though part of this revenue is really earned in 2016. We're still sending those magazines out for two years, but under the cash basis of accounting, in 2016 it would look like we didn't do anything, assuming this was the only transaction. Here we have another example. Services in the amount of $50,000 were provided to the customer in December of 2015 and were scheduled to receive payment in the next year, January 2016. In this example, all $50,000 will be recorded as revenue in 2016 because that's when we collect the cash. Even though you could argue that we earned the money in 2015, we spent all the money to pay our salaries, to buy the the whatever we're trying to sell, and uh, we, we did that in 2015, so arguably we earned it in 2015, but under the cash basis of accounting, we record it when we get paid in 2016. So let's take a look at an expense example here. Expenses are recorded when the cash is paid, so if we buy a one-year insurance policy in July of 2015, basically cost us $200 per month for a total of $2,400. Under the cash basis of accounting, all $2,400 are going to be recorded as an expense in 2015, even though we're really using that insurance up for half of each year, 2015 and half of 2016. So you can hopefully see that, yes, the cash basis is a little bit easier to use, but hopefully you can see some potential distortions there because of the timing between when we really earn something and when we receive the cash or when we really incurred an expense and when we paid the cash. So let's switch over to the accrual basis of accounting here. Under this basis, the revenues are recorded when they are earned. It doesn't matter when we collected it. We could collect in advance. We could collect after the fact. We want to know when did we really earn it? When did we provide the service? When did we sell the product? There are a lot of different ways to know when we've earned revenues, and that's actually for another discussion in much more depth later on. But we're just going to say for right now, when did we earn the revenues? For the expense, we record that when we incurred it. In other words, when we used up some benefit. So we'll see an example in just a bit. Here, the example for revenues is that we have that two-year magazine subscription. We sold to subscribers in January of 2015. Again, it's $1,000 a month. We're going to record it every month as it's earned. As soon as we send out one month's uh, subscription or one month's magazine, then we're going to record one month's revenue. So $1,000 in revenue will be recorded each month as it is earned spreads it out. Let's take a look at the other example with the services and the amount of $50,000 provided to the customer in December of 2015 
and we're going to receive payment in January of 2016. We earned the money in 2015, all of it. So all 50000 is going to be recorded as revenue that year because we earned it that year. We don't really care when the cash was collected. And of course, I shouldn't say we don't care. We need to collect the cash. But for revenue recognition purposes, under the accrual basis of accounting, we earned it and we will record it as revenue in 2015. Nothing will, will be recorded as revenue in 2016 because we really didn't earn anything in 2016 using this example. Now let's take a look at our expense. They're recorded when they are incurred. So we have that one year insurance policy that we purchased in July of 2015. It was $200 per month. So we are going to record $200 expense every month as the insurance policy is used up. Half of it will basically be recorded in 2015. Half of it will be recorded in 2016. So using this example, under the two different years, if we uh, take a look at the magazine revenue, the other income, and the $2,400 insurance expense for 2015, we recorded it when the cash changed hands for the cash basis of accounting. So we end up with $21,600 of net income in 2015 and $50,000 of net income in 2016. That's the cash basis of accounting. If you summarize all of that information for the accrual basis, we actually end up with $60,800 of net income in 2015 and 10,800 in 2016. So it's quite a bit of a difference in as far as how the income is allocated between the two years. One thing to note, however, if you add these up, you get 71,600 under either scenario. It's the same total net income. It's just a question of how do we allocate it between the years. So the cash basis seems easy. It is easy, but it's not allowed by GAAP. GAAP being generally accepted accounting principles. So any company that is required to abide by those GAAP principles cannot use the cash basis of accounting. In other words, if you are a publicly traded company on the stock market, you're not going to be able to use the cash basis. Instead, you have to use the accrual basis. And the reason is the cash basis is subject to manipulation. You can uh, defer cash receipts. You can defer cash expenditures. It doesn't really reflect the underlying actual operations of the company. We really want to know when did we earn revenue and when did we really use up the benefit of something that caused us to incur an expense. So hopefully this helps to first of all explain the difference between the two bases of accounting and this should lead us into a good discussion of the adjusting entries that are caused by this this uh, accrual basis of accounting. So that would be our next section. Thank you for your time.